Namaskar. Welcome you all in this educational video of NIOS. We are going to do subject environmental science. This is for senior secondary level. And code number for this subject is 333. And we are going to do lesson number two. You can see the name of the lesson on the screen. Name of the lesson is Environment and Human Society. We are doing video part four. Let us have a look at the objectives of this part of the video. The first objective is we will understand the discovery of fire, how it was discovered, and how evolution of agriculture and domestication of animals took place. And next objective is we will understand the invention of wheel. And after that, we will understand and identify the factors that led to growth of industrialization. And the next objective is we will be able to understand how rapid industrialization has resulted in depletion of natural resources and environmental degradation. Now this image you can see on screen is about fire. And in this you can see the primitive human His name is Homo erectus. There are different stages of human evolution that we will be showing. Here we are talking about Homo erectus. When the primitive human whose name was Homo erectus, he discovered fire. And uh, let me tell you that the discovery of fire was about more than two lakh years ago. And when the fire was discovered, then that human, that primitive human, they realized the use of fire enabled them to colonize the colder parts of the earth, they started living in a colony so that there they can have a get together, live in a team or a group. And because the fire was invented, so they also find that meat becomes tender when cooked in the fire. And that way they can make it more digestible because after getting cooked, it becomes soft and its taste also gets changed. So fire, in a way we can say, it helped them in making their food tasty and digestive. And also fire was used to, to scare away the dangerous animals. Seeing the fire, the wild and dangerous animals they never dare to come near to the human beings. And also, we can say that because of fire, there was a cultural evolution of human, as well as it increased exploitation of the natural resources. Because now the human started gathering more things and taking different ways and trying different examples with the help of fire. 
as we have understood the invention of fire. Now here onwards, we will be discussing agriculture and domestication of animals. Now here, we will understand the evolution of agriculture. <coughs> we know that once human settled down, then they slowly began to farm. And slowly, slowly, a primitive agricultural society was formed. And when they kept uh, staying at uh, one place, then because of continuous cultivation along the river bank and valleys, it became surplus and domestication of animals and then rising, raising of cattle began because now they were doing farming, they were cultivating more and more crop, so they started using cattle. And because now they were taking the help of animals, so the first domesticated animal was dog. It was dog who was domesticated for the first time. And as the time passed, humans, they learned to use metal tools for agriculture and used plants and animal residues as manure. Tools were made from metal and those tools were used for agriculture and different work. And the waste material of agriculture, the green waste and the waste material of the domestic animals like cow dung, all, they, all those materials were used as a manure for the agriculture purpose. And they also began irrigation of their cultivated fields. And now, slowly, slowly, further improvements in cultivation and domestication of animals encouraged human settlements by the river bank and valleys. So we can say it evolved a different society which was called as agro-horticultural society. This name, agro-horticulture society, can be considered as a new methods which are cultivated for beautification or for just for experiment to make it more beautiful or more creative. This can be considered in another words, like we can say that the modern man evolved and practiced the traditional agriculture of the primitive agrarian society. You can see that these two words which are in red color. So the first word which is in red color, it means that they started beautifying their agriculture work. And the second word means that it was the simple agricultural work they were doing. Now we have understood about the agriculture. Now in this slide, which is on screen, we will understand the domestication of animals. These primitive humans needed to till the land for farming and also move from one place to another.
so they started using bullocks to till the land and some other animals such as camel elephants bullock carts etc as a means of transport so that they can carry their goods from one place to the other place which was far from their own place so this was used as a transport services now it was started at this point of time and the animals used for carrying goods from one place to another are called as draught animals so this word d r a u g h t draught animals are used for those animals who carry things and as we have already discussed that early humans also reared animals for food like goat sheep pig deer and the different poultry birds so they were kept at home for their food and once human become permanent settlers their population began to increase and all the natural resources now started depleting so as these natural sources got depleted and then arose the need to get materials from the outside from the outer place which was not their local place like food clothing home all the things they needed so they need to get all those things so they need to be kept they need to be arranged from outside and also culturally their requirements for clothes ornaments and agriculture implements etc all these needs started increasing because natural resources were depleted now for example coal was taken away from the mines and different metals were taken away and population is increasing so there is more demand and supply also needs to be catered and the land which they had they were cultivating that was not sufficient so they need more place more resources now till now we have understood about the agriculture plus the domestication of animals now we will be understanding the invention of the wheel we know that wheels are getting used in different vehicles scooter bus airplane so we will be now understanding how it was invented those who were not directly involved in farming they became craftsmen and all those who were interested in doing agriculture work they were doing agriculture and surplus agricultural produce was bartered for non essential goods like pottery ornaments etc so we can say that there was kind of exchange of materials among the people who were living in society
many people were doing different kinds of work and whenever they need something so they 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 used to exchange their own material with the other person which was of their own need according to their need they used to exchange the things so that was known as barter system you must have seen that barter system in your other subjects nowadays we have money so we give money and get the things but in the previous time we used to do barter system and in reality it took a long time for the animal to carry the goods from one place to another so now was the time that the invention of wheel was done and because of wheels the carts were pulled by animals in actually we don't know and no one exactly knows who invented wheels but people were using it around 5000 years ago at different places in the world those places were iraq and the other place was syria and and another place was turkey so in all these three places wheels were used and the first wheel were probably round slice of log you know the trunk part of the tree which is taken and then cut into shape which is round in shape so that slice of log was used as wheel for the first time and these logs could roll objects on a plank of wood kept on the logs so that slice of log was used as a wheel to carry things with the help of animals from one place to another in these three countries and the first wheeled vehicle was a chariot which was a two wheeled cart pulled by donkeys and the wheels were two you know donkey you all must have seen donkey and later on slowly slowly after so many years the horse cart started and greece and roman were the place they used them when fighting wars now we will be discussing about the discovery of wheel when was it discovered so you can see on the screen that by about 3000 bc bc means before christ by about 3000 years before christ that time wheels made of logs were being used in primitive carts and the solid wooden wheels were used for other purposes too such as by the potters they used to mold earthen and terracotta pots you can see the image on screen as well so that was the use of wheel it was around 1000 years bc means before christ and these were known as the potter's wheels so we call all these as discovery of wheel led to different invention you can see the image on screen 
it is about wheels these wheels were actually very heavy wooden wheels and later on when metal was discovered metal wheels with spokes they replaced such wooden wheels because they were lighter now the metal wheels were now lighter and stronger as compared to the wooden wheels which were very heavy so people now started using wheels made up of metals with spokes thank you namaskar